Today, we're gonna go over what I think is the best custom button layout for the Sony a7 V when it comes to photography. So in the menu, we're gonna go down all the way to the bottom tab, which is setup. Then we're gonna go down to where it says operation customize. Click on that. We're gonna go to photo. We're gonna start on rear one. It'll also show you a little diagram on the right of what button we're customizing. So number one, I have set to focus magnifier. Now, if you're someone that does a lot of sports or burst shooting, you can choose to either put control shoot speed boost with hold or control speed boost toggle. Next, I have on the AF on button on the back, which here is number two, I have that set to switch right left eye. Next is number three, we have white balance. That's the default button. I like to leave that as is. Number four is focus mode, also with default. I like to leave that what it is. Next, number five, which is the trash can button. I have that set for monitor brightness. We have rear two. Number one, focus standard. That's default and I like to leave that on there. Number two, which is the circle button inside of the wheel. I have set to recognize target select. Next, number three, we have drive mode, which is the left button on the wheel. It's defaulted to drive mode. I leave it at the default. Number four, which is the right on the wheel. Defaults to ISO, I leave it at that. And then down, I have set to finder, monitor, select. Next, after rear two, we have top. I leave those defaulted, movie shooting, which is the record button, and focus area, which is C2. Next, we have the option for the custom button for lenses. I have that set to my switch right, left eye. Next, here we have the dial wheel. I've left them all defaulted, except for number four, which is the wheel spinning left and right on the back. That I have set to white balance, C temp. Next, we're going to go down to the FN menu settings. So I have the top left corner set to image quality settings. Next, I have touch operation. Right, left, I select. I have silent mode, steady shot, APS-C, super 35 shooting. I like to have interval shooting. Next, we have pre-capture, recognition target, subject recognition in autofocus. We have face memory and register face priority. I have these two together next to each other. This layout as a professional photographer drastically can improve your workflow when you're shooting, especially if you're someone that does a lot of different types of shoots.